Fowl comes home. Jeff is home. We'd like to thank God for his hand of protection over Jeff these past six months and for providing strength and peace over his family in his absence. Six months of detainment in North Korea comes to an end and a family is reunited tonight. So what comes next? And who played a role in bringing Jeffrey Fowl home? Two News at 5 starts right now. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is Two News at 5. And first at 5, it was the welcome home you saw live only on Two News. Jeffrey Fowl returning to his West Carrollton home, all smiles, following his release from North Korea. That's right. After six long months of detainment, Jeffrey Fowle is back with those he loves tonight. Our live team coverage began before he landed at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base at 6.43 this morning. We continue now with Birchelle Edme, working to piece together everything we've learned. Birchelle, what can you tell us tonight at 5? Well, Katie, for the first time since late April, Jeffrey Fowle stepped foot on his, in, in, at, his, at his home, rather, and was joined as well by his three children, 9, 11, and 13. Of course, his wife, Tatiana Fowle, was there as well. We're told by State Department officials that he is in good health, and as well from his lawyer that he's eager to get back to a normal life. But it's been a very long road back to West Carrollton. For nearly six months, Jeffrey Fowle has been a captive in North Korea for Christian evangelization. But now, Fowle is a free man. Around 6.30 in the morning, the 56-year-old landed at Wright Pat to his wife and three children who did not know their dad was returning. He then arrived to his West Carrollton home in a tinted black SUV. Minutes later, he gave a thumbs up to the media when asked about his condition. But he wasn't always certain this would be his fate. I'm good for the time being, but I need to let people know that I, I'm what getting desperate. I'm what getting what desperate what for uh, help. That statement was more than a month ago to CNN. A day later, North Korean officials rejected talks with the U.S. on Fowle's behalf. His crime was leaving a Bible in a North Korean nightclub, an act considered to be evangelization. While detained, Fowle even signed a statement admitting his guilt. He was awaiting trial after two other Americans had already been convicted for similar charges. But he hoped through diplomatic action, he could someday come home. I appreciate the government's doing the Swedish embassy too. Even the Russian government. My Tanya is, uh, my wife is half Russian. She's dual citizenship. She wrote to Vladimir, Vladimir Putin and he for the letter to Sergei Lavrov's office, and he wrote back to my wife. Ultimately, it was both the Swedish and U.S. governments that were able to secure Fowle's return to West Carrollton. His family lawyer, Tim Teep, spoke on Fowle's behalf. The past 24 hours have been a whirlwind for Jeff and his family. Jeff needs some time right now to get adjusted to his life at home. And since that time, it seems that's exactly what he's been doing. We have seen him inside his West Carrollton home with his wife and his three children. He later made an appearance here at Moraine City Hall for a statement. And for more continued team coverage on that, we'll turn back to you, Katie and Mark.